Let me guess, you've been thinking about becoming a travel advisor and you're wondering, is that possible for you in 2024? Well, wonder no further. We're gonna share all the deets today. What do you need to know? What are the things that you should avoid? And exactly step-by-step, step, how do you get started? That sounds like fun. Keep on watching. That's what we're doing on the show today. All right, guys, welcome back. Don't forget to take a moment, like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell over on YouTube. If you are new to the channel, you might not know who I am. My name is Cindy Williams, and I am the founder and CEO of Wanderlust Campus. We help people just like you become certified travel advisors and launch your travel businesses from home. You can find all of our information over at travelschool.com if you wanna learn more about that. But today we're talking about how do you become a travel advisor in 2024? Is it for you? I don't know, we're gonna kinda of explore that today. Before we get started in today's content, I have one more big announcement I wanna share for all of our regular followers. I wanna say happy holidays. We have a contest going on that you guys do not want to miss. Um, if you haven't already heard, we launched our holiday gift guide. This is an amazing guide that is going to give you not just everything that you need to know shopping wise for probably yourself, because I know you guys, it's all travel lovers that follow the channel. So a lot of things on this list are things that I want, but a, most of them are things I already have. I've tested for you and it is a perfect gift guide for holiday shoppers. Now, when you get the gift guide, you're also going to be registered in our annual contest and I'm going to be giving away. You know, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know, every November, December, we do stuff to give back to our community. This is part of that journey. Um, we're going to be giving away 10 different amazing prizes from the gift guide. This is one of the headbands that we're showing off on the gift guide. That's just one of like a million things on there. Um, but we're giving away 10 things from the gift guide. And also if you do any shopping from the links on here, all of the proceeds, all the affiliate dollars that are earned are going into the Pink Pineapple Scholarship Fund that will help students who are in need. We're gonna be able to dedicate some scholarship dollars towards that. So you're doing good, you're getting your shopping done, and who knows, you might win one of those fun prizes. So definitely uh, take time to do that if you haven't already. All right, let's get back to the topic at hand. So we are talking about how do you become a travel advisor? So look guys, there's lots of different ways you can become a travel advisor. If you are someone who's watching this video because you're just Googled, how do you become a travel agent? And this video popped up, that's great. We actually have a full kind of travel industry orientation that I would recommend that you grab. That's really a great place to start. It's our full travel masterclass, the, blue tri the blueprint to, become, to building a portable, profitable travel business to seven figure sales and beyond. This is gonna tell you all of the landmines you can walk into, things you want to avoid altogether. And it's also going to go through a very detailed uh, kind of different ways to get started in the industry. I'm going to talk about that on today's video as well. But if you're really serious about getting in the industry and you want to make sure you don't make any mistakes, please get that travel uh, class first. We don't host agents. We don't hire agents. So, um, you know, we're kind of um, objective when it comes to kind of how you start that process or who you decide to work with in the industry as you get started. So definitely do that. I'll link that down below so you have that masterclass as well, or you can visit careersonvacation.com slash masterclass. So let's talk through if being a travel advisor is even for you. So the thing that I want to ask you to ask yourself is, am I passionate about travel and not just travel for the perks and the discounts, which of course are an amazing side benefit of working in this industry that we do get perks and we do get discounts and sometimes we do get free travel or free events and we get to go on these things called fam trips. All of that is very sexy and very exciting and everybody wants to do that stuff. But are you really dedicated to the point that you want to make this a career or a really profitable side hobby, either one of those is fine, but you have to also be willing to do the learning that's required, the work that's required. And this really is setting up your own business. This is not like the models when I started in the industry 30 years ago, where you would go to travel school and you would work for a call center or a mom and pop agency, or one of these uh, kind of outfits out in the world that would hire you as an employee. You are going to be operating as a contractor or potentially 
even an independent travel advisor working with suppliers directly. There's a few different ways to kind of structure your business and get started. So there's different options, but in all of the options, you have to do your own learning. You have to do all, you know, protect your own business and do those extra steps that will be required. The good news is you can learn that information and it is doable. I just want to make sure that it's on your heart big enough to do it in a way that you can be dedicated to it. And you can really put the effort that it's going to take to get into the industry. So if you said, yes, check on that, check on one and check on two, then I would say, go ahead and continue your journey. Take the masterclass as kind of the next step in learning more after you watch this video today. So let's talk through a couple of the different setups when you are out there in the industry. So first and foremost, you could go with the most traditional, which is go through, you know, a four year university where you're earning a tourism degree. A lot of people don't like that because it takes four years. It's how you can't start earning money a few months from now. And so that makes it more difficult. No one can take that degree away from you. So that's always a positive. But I will say we have just as many students come through our programs that have uh, degrees or backgrounds in travel. Um, that just don't know how to make it relevant in the actual real world because when you're earning that tourism degree, it doesn't always teach you how to run your business in the real world. And so there's a little bit of a gap there. Even once you earn your degree, you still have to figure out how to set up successfully from home. Same thing with some of the longer uh, certifications available in the industry. Now we offer a, cer a certification as well. In our certification, you can earn that in a 12 week period. Um, we give you the study guides, all the information that you need to earn your certification. I think one of the biggest differences between our certification and some of the more traditional certifications in the industry would be that yes, you have to go through the process of earning it. It'll be more of an e-program with the other guys. Um, and it can take one to two years to earn your certification. And then once you earn it, they will bill you an ongoing certification fee every single year. You have to take a test to keep your certification up and relevant every one or two years, depending on which one you pick. The difference with one or less campus and through the careers on vacation certification, becoming a, a travel advisor, you do it once. And when we update and give new information, we give it to our students. We don't charge you an extra fee for that. So there, there'll be a difference there just in terms of you have to figure out the long-term commitment. So there's, there's that piece as well. Now with, um, the traditional certifications outside of, you know, tourism, uh, degree, uh, the more traditional certifications, um, there's not a lot of how to set up your business in those certifications, right? How do you work in the real world? How do you actually get your business up and running? And there's certainly no hands-on personal support to do that process with you. So that can be sometimes a struggle for people as well. Um, now, if you're working with Wanderlust Campus, we have a full team, of course, that's gonna help you with that. You're working with real humans and ours is the only program where you actually can get instructor-led education. You can also get a private, a mentor that works with you through that process as well. So again, it's really how you like to work. Look at all the options and see what feels good to you or what resonates best. Um, and then our learning is on demand as well, but you can show up to those live classes. So lots of different things to consider there. Now, the one option we haven't talked about yes, yet is actually just working with a travel host. A lot of people think this is going to solve all their program problems. They're going to work with an agency an agency will hire them and they're going to give them all the training and all the support and all the tools and all the resources that they'll need. While that sounds good in theory, what I want everyone to really understand is how our industry works. Again, you are not being hired as an employee. So you are a contractor, which means you are responsible for all of your training. You are responsible for protecting your own business. You're responsible for making sure you do everything required when you are in a contractor relationship. It's actually not allowed that hosts provide you with formalized required training in any capacity because that would make you an employee and that would violate the employee contractor laws that are set up by tax code. So that's a really risky situation for them to provide training, which they're, they're kind of in a catch 22. Some of them I'm sure would love to give you amazing training, but they can't, they're not really allowed to do that or make it required. And what that creates is 
They can sign you up and call you a travel agent tomorrow, but it doesn't mean you actually know how to do the job of being a travel agent. It doesn't mean you know how to protect your own business as a contractor. It doesn't know, it doesn't mean that you know how to set up the real systems like marketing, sales, service, automation, things that you really need to have in your environment to make your success make yourself successful in today's environment. And that's where that model sometimes breaks down and can be really difficult and overwhelming. We have two types of students that come to Wanderlust Campus. Half come because they're brand new and they're like, I just wanna do it right from the beginning. Teach me how to do it, do all the things, right? Um, and they're brand new agents. They're learning how to become an agent and how to set up their business. And they just kinda wanna get to the answers. And then the other half of the students that come to us, usually they have started in a hosting model, but they've found that they're overwhelmed, they're lost, they're confused, the stuff isn't coming together. And some of these hosting models have 20 people, some of them have 10,000 people. And so it's really easy to feel lost in those environments and you sign up and you're paying a monthly fee, but if you're not seeing any growth, is it really a profitable even hobby for you? So that becomes difficult as well. So you have to decide early on in this journey, if you're in that kind of aspiring phase, decide which type of person you are more comfortable kind of moving ahead with. Do you wanna get all the proper information, training, support from day one and just do it right one time? Or do you wanna kind of gamble, roll the dice and try one of these other methods and kind of DIY until you kind of figure it out? Just budget in a much longer learning curve because you will be doing it in a silo uh, kind of on your own. And so that becomes difficult for a lot of people. So we like to give you all of the options. And then one that I didn't really talk about today, it goes into it more in the, in the masterclass but I'm not a big fan of travel MLMs. There's a lot of, ML of course they don't call themselves MLMs and I'm not gonna mention them by name of just by, that's not kind of what we do here from a business perspective, but I will say you need to be very cautious about reading hiring contracts, reading terms and conditions, making sure you're not getting into more of a recruit your friends kind of model. You know, that, you know, and sometimes unfortunately what we're seeing happen even from students that come in to Wanderlust campuses will say, well, I thought it was going to be this because they told me this, but then I got in and they said, well, where you make the real money is recruiting your friends. Why don't you do X, Y, Z? And what it really is is kind of like, you know, one of those pyramid deals. That's not, you know, the, the, those types of agents just aren't taken really seriously in the industry. And the sad part about it is some of you guys don't even realize you're signing up for those until it's too late and then you're in a contract. So really, really be careful. Again, take the masterclass. It will give you some more information on really how to avoid those situations and to help you on your journey. So my role as an, as an educator in the industry and the founder of Wanderlust Campus is to just give you the information and make the decision that's right for you. I always want you to start with what your goals are. If you start in the place with what your goals are, you will, you will always make the right decision. Start with what your goals are and then trust your gut as you vet different options that are out there in the industry. If you want to learn a little bit more about what we do, you definitely can reach out to, uh, to us at travelschool.com or if you want to talk to our enrollments team, go to careersonvacation.com slash ready now and you can make an appointment with our enrollments team so we can learn about what your specific goals are and if it's a match to work together, we'd love to talk to you about what we do at Careers on Vacation and Wanderlust Camp campus to help you get your travel business launched and started the right way and get you into uh, earning while learning mode. That's what we're kind of known for in the industry. And of course, check out all of our case studies here on YouTube. We have the most industry case studies uh, showing the types of results that we get for our clients. We have well over 200 of those documented right here on YouTube. So guys, I hope this was helpful for you. If you are thinking about getting into the industry in 2024, whether you're working with us or not, I wish you so much love, so much abundance. I wish you the world as you get started. It really is an amazing industry to be a part of and I hope you'll join us soon. So I'll see you guys next week. Happy holidays again. Don't forget to sign up for the holiday gift guide as well. I'm gonna put all the links that we talked about in the videos down below. I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.
Hey guys, Cindy Williams here. If you liked that last video, make sure you check out all of the other content on our channel. And if you want to follow along and travel with me around the world and see how I run my amazing travel brands and get some great tips on how to grow your own, make sure you check out that other content. I'm going to drop a couple videos here. Click those links. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.